How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. It is an exciting week for all aviation enthusiasts because sun and fun is here. But unfortunately, earlier this month on April 4th, we had yet another manufacturer, known manufacturer Icon A5, file for bankruptcy. Now, this seems to be happening more this year. And I wanna talk about it not to shame the company, but to kind of go down memory lane and give you guys an insight to what's really happening with the markets. If you see that some of the videos that I've made lately is just talking about airplane market with Mosaic that we're expecting to pass, what's new out there, and what's dying as a breed out there. So, but let's talk about the Icon A5 today. If you don't know about this airplane, I'll, I'll educate you a little bit. So the A5 is an amphibian aircraft and it was first introduced back in 2008. This was an airplane that was promising in terms of the modern features. Um, it had all of the cool amenities you can think about, but also it has some really advanced technological features, right? The angle of attack, uh, obviously an amphibian, the fact that you can land on water or take off on water, um, but as a pilot, I think this was one of the first airplanes that made it easier, right? In terms of the ergonomics of the interior. So you didn't have to do much, right? And this plane uses a Rotax 912, just like every light sport. Now Icon A5 started as a light sport, but eventually got other certifications. And we can talk about that later, but let's just look at it as a light sport aircraft, as an entry level airplane, but ultimately, it was not a practical airplane. This was not a plane for all pilots because you couldn't do much with this plane. It was more like a leisurely plane that you fly on weekends. Uh, it's not too fast. You're going maybe 80, 90 miles per hour and your range is not that much. You may have 200 to 300 miles, ideally. Okay, so when Icon first introduced the A5, it was a pre-launch in 2008, and at the time, the price was around $140,000, 139 to be exact. And I personally didn't find out about this airplane until maybe five or six years later when I got knee deep into aviation. And so I found out about the A5 around 2014, 2015. And at the time that I found out about it, it was still sort of in pre-launch mode, and at that time, the price was now closer to $200,000 at 189000 A year later, the same airplane now cost 247000 So you see where I'm going with this? I'm just giving us some, some timeline here. But beside the price, and I think Icon A5 story was that they tried to get a playbook from Cirrus Aircraft. And one thing about Cirrus is that they, they do marketing very well and they cater to new entrants, to new pilots. Uh, Cirrus will always get celebrities to fly their airplanes. That's really free marketing, right? So when you have celebrities and influencers uh, flying or using your product, it makes it easier to sell. And so I thought Icon A5 tried to do similar. So they spent a lot of time and money on marketing, but more specifically marketing to new folks, new pilots. And with that, they got a lot of orders from their pre-launch. Now, fast forward to 2017, more has happened with the company. They had issues with sourcing out materials. Uh, initially, I believe Cirrus was supposed to help them make their composite materials, um, but then they moved their production to Mexico, which on logistical side, that makes sense because Mexico is right there. And so you can build the airplane for a good fraction of the cost rather than building here in the US. Um, and then you could potentially keep your price point at a lower rate, but that has not been the case for the Icon A5, right? So although they were able to move their production facility to a cheaper avenue, uh, the price continued to go up because by 2017, that same airplane now cost $389,000 brand new. Also by this time, the production output was set to about 500 planes a year. But unfortunately, Icon A5 only had about 20 airplanes out a year. So of not even 10% of the proposed output. So you had all these things just kind of working against the company. We're talking years ago, because this is not 2024, right? 
But 2017 was a very interesting year for Icon A5. It was both good and bad because prior to that, they raised money, about $16 million from a Chinese investor. Yay, we have money now to go full blown on this thing, right? But in 2017, Icon A5 suffered some high profile crashes. One was with their test pilots. So they had uh, two of their pilots die in a crash. But unfortunately, that same year, Icon A5 had another high profile crash, this time by a celebrity, and who also happened to be one of their first customers, if not the very first customer, Royal Holiday, which I covered on this channel a few years ago. You can see the videos for all these things. I'm gonna put it in the description. So now you had a company who recently raised money, uh, found a way to move their production facility to hopefully reduce the cost of production and source out all of their materials. And then following that, you had some crashes with the plane. Again, when crashes happen, think about the morale of your potential customers, right? Even though nothing may be wrong with the airplane, you still had this thing in the air where people would think, oh, something is wrong with your airplane. That's why people are crashing and dying. Now, given this crashes, Icon made some moves that I thought really shot themselves in the foot. For one, they drew up a very complex contract. So if you were a customer and you were buying one of these planes, there were some things in there that you had to think twice about. And here's some of it. So if you were purchasing an Icon A5, one, you had to send the airplane back to the factory after 2000 hours for the airframe to be overhauled. I remember when I read this a few years ago, I thought, what? <laughs> One, because that's the first time I've ever heard of something like that happening where the customers required or requested to send the entire plane back to the factory for overhaul. And this also comes at a cost to the customer from what I understand. Now, generally in GA, you overhaul your engine after 2000 hours. But for the Icon A5, you have to overhaul both the engine and the airframe of the aircraft. So that was one factor that I think will work against you. Number two, you cannot sue the company. Again, for obvious reasons, right? When people crash and things happen like that, the company said you cannot hold us liable if you crash our airplane. And number three is you have to go through some training with the airplane when you buy one, which should be across the board, right? When you think of Cirrus aircraft, when Cirrus first launched, they had a lot of crashes with the SR-22 and they were able to fix that problem by training their pilots. So the training requirement, I think, is a no-brainer for Icon A5. But when you add all of these factors together, this was a chain link that was breaking bits by bits. For one, you had to raise the price of the airplane almost every year, you had quite a lot of deposits to begin with, but because of the logistical nightmare that comes with manufacturing airplanes, you didn't have enough to produce airplanes. So again, customers believe that they would get their plane because Icon was supposed to put out 500 of these units every year, but unfortunately they've only been able to produce 20 a year, which is like peanuts compared to over 1,000 deposits that they received. So all of these things were working against the company to begin with. And this is why I said that this video is not really to bash them because I'm also in the business side of aviation and I understand how much of a challenge it is to source out materials, to deal with the logistics of planes. Guys, if you are getting into this space, you have to understand that it is very, very capital intensive. You have a shortage of not just materials, but also of people. Um, you have when little things happen, it costs you a lot of money and time and it sets you back. Like I've never been to the factory of Icon A5, but I can tell you that I understand some of the things that they've probably dealt with that's not available to the public. So I want you to consider all of these things. But then when you have also competition working against you, I think that was the ultimate nail in the coffin for Icon A5. See, at the time of making this video, I believe a brand new A5 will not cost you $400,000 or more, which is 
just crazy for a light sport because at the end of the day, your end consumer is going to look at this airplane as a light sport. But within that same category, you have several other options that are less, much less expensive. In some cases, half the price of the A5. You have the C-Ray, which is a nicely built airplane. You've got the C-Max, which I reviewed also on this channel, very neat airplane. You have the Super Patrol, a Brazilian design, very neat airplane. So you have all of these other options that cost you a fraction of what the A5 will cost. And in some cases, even more practical than the Icon A5. So even with the company being able to overcome some of the production and logistical challenges that they have, they still had competition waiting for them in the market. But now that we're expecting Mosaic to pass, guess what? All the manufacturers are going to feel the burn because you will have more players in this space and consumers will have a lot more option. But ultimately, they file for bankruptcy because of all of these reasons put together and they owe money to their creditors. I can't tell you how many aviation company that doesn't owe money to their creditors. Again, this is a very capital intensive space and no matter how you slice and dice it, no matter how much you get creative about it, it just costs a lot of money. And as a fan, I feel terrible for the Icon A5 and the people behind it because I really do think that it's a neat product. It just, it never got to the climax it needed to. Perhaps if they had more airplane in the air, that would have worked in their favor. But also at that price point, in a way they priced themselves out of the market. Cirrus was able to do this successfully where they were a premium product. Um, but again, Cirrus also have some real practical use uh, in the GA market. The Icon A5 doesn't. So we'll wait to see what happens with the A5. I know right now they're looking for a buyer for the company um, and who's to tell? Maybe they can revamp and rebuild and reintroduce themselves. Maybe they come up with a less expensive option. Uh, either way, like I said, competition is definitely winning on the market. Okay, that is my spiel for today. If you have any questions or you know more about this, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, but more importantly, give it a thumbs up. Okay, thank you so much for spending time with me. If this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to Mojo Grip and please consider becoming a paid member on the channel. You can also become a paid member on Facebook or on mojogrip.net, become my MVP and you will have access to exclusive content. Okay, again, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.